Things are changing. It's a new Jack City. Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. The Magic the Gathering market has definitely changed in the past couple of years. We've seen some major moves. We've seen things go up and come down. We've seen things go sideways. We've seen all types of craziness, okay? So today, let's talk about the whole market, what's happened, and where we're heading. So what happened over the past few years? We saw a crazy rise in prices. Everything collectible went up and people started buying like crazy, investing in cardboard and alternate things because the interest rate was near zero. So your money was better off doing other things. Um, what we saw in our market was a period of consolidation where a lot of stuff got pulled out of the market, right? And now it's re-entering, and the people who are buying it are um, are not these people who were buying for the past three years. It's people who were buying before that. It's the OGs. It's the originals who are buying. It's the people who are still in Magic the Gathering and who've been in Magic the Gathering. And what's been happening, right? Uh, a lot of the the older, high-quality cards are disappearing. A lot of the sealed went into almost permanent storage, not quite semi-permanent, let's call it. Um, and what you're seeing is the people who are never really cared about magic, who are never really, really in it, that's who are selling, okay? Even the people who made a couple of bucks, who got some nice cards, graded them, a lot of graded cards are coming to market. They're getting snapped up at reasonable prices. So this period in the past three years is kind of a period of consolidation where the market... The, the open market, a lot of stuff came to market and it got drained. And that's what's that's what's occurred. Right. And those people sell it again. But what's happening is the high end stuff is getting um, put aside and the low end, the, the moderately played, the heavy played items are getting pushed back into the market. The condition cycling that I've been talking about for a long time has happened to uh, such an extreme that. It's near impossible to find a 9.5 raw card out there. Like go on um, eBay or TCG Player, buy near mint, you're getting cards that'll grade an 8, 8.5. And it's it's kind of a shame. Um, you know, I used to go out there and hunt cards and, and hunt on condition and get cards that were raw and be able to grade them and get good grades. You can't do that anymore. That's changed. In this new market, we have serialized cards. That's a whole new thing, right? They are holding-ish their values. Most are coming down a little bit. But the real ones, the real different serialized cards are going back up. Like um, like the Praetors and stuff like that, right? We now have um, interesting chases akin to old school masterpieces like the the neon inks from Ixalan and also the emblems from Ixalan. Ixalan was a great set. Uh, it showed what what wizards could do aside from serialized cards. If if wizards wanted to preserve value and and you know in in these cards, reprint value and equity in some of these cards, that's how you do it. You don't just slap a number on. You make rare chases with unique uh, treatments. People love that type of stuff. They've always loved that type of stuff. Another good example is the confetti foils from Eldraine, the new Eldraine, right? So, you know, there's some good chases. We have the serial chase, which, look, I, I don't really like it, but it's here to stay. It's a thing in many other industries, especially sports cards, so don't expect it to go anywhere, okay? It has a place here. I'm just waiting for Wizards to figure out what that place is instead of just, you know, making it all over the place. Currently, we're seeing playables. Good playables go up in value. Look at Shieldred. I mean, that's kind of a crazy example of a playable that's gone up like crazy, right? I mean, it's the only valuable card in Dominaria United. Um, if they didn't print it a bunch of or twice otherwise... Um, it would probably have held Dominaria United's prices a little bit higher, right? And, and again, that set's recovering. You've seen on Rudy videos, boxes are coming up in price now. 
a lot of things hit their bottom about two, three months ago in November, December. I just have a question to ask, right? Like now in this new market, we have a three year standard. So what happens when after rotation, how severe is the price job going to be? That's going to be interesting for Shieldred and other playables in the current modern era. Mm. So yeah, we're in a whole new market and there's new things happening and it's time to get used to these new machinations. People are grading new cards and other people are buying those graded cards. I don't know if they're getting a crazy premium, but they are getting premiums. It's not hard to get a PSA 10 from a card that was just pulled out of a pack yesterday. You know, um, these modern cards. Anyway, guys, uh, just a little bit of thoughts on the current market. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. We can always use some more patrons. This channel is sponsored and supported by me. Um, the TC TCG player affiliate link, if you're going to buy any cards today, uh, over here in the QR code or down below in the description, there's a link. Click on it. Shop like normal. Helps out a lot. Otherwise, take care. Have a lovely day, everyone. Peace. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?